so what's good to all my cousins what's up to all my people what's up to all my supporters anyways i know it's been a while since i posted anything literally it's been since last year first of all i'm gonna tell y'all why i haven't been posting anything this is my first video of the year i have recorded another video but i'm gonna post that after I, this one i just wanted this to be my first video of 2020 i wanted to anyways i wanted my first video to be this video because it's an update on me it's my start off basically so one reason that i wasn't posting because i lost my camera charger I didn't want to be uploading videos off my phone, even though I could have, but I just wanted to use my camera. So I haven't, that's one reason I haven't been, because I kept, and I kept going to Best Buy, back to back, back to back, trying to get the right charger for my camera, and they kept giving me the wrong charger. So I was struggling to find that for my camera. And another reason I wasn't posting, because I've been going through it literally through it like y'all don't even know i feel like people forget some people forget that i'm a human i'm a regular human being and i'm i still go through life so if i'm not posting something because i'm going through something then as a supporter you should support that you should still be there no matter what and i'm only saying this because i people keep blowing me up and some people was talking crazy about me not posting but so yeah i'ma just i'ma just go into what happened with me what's been going on i'ma start it off by how it started off for me so everything cool everything good I'm just spending a lot of time with Marquise. We spend a lot of time together. I'm living life. I'm being young, doing what I want to do. That's what I've been doing. 2019, 19 year old, just turned 20, blah, blah, blah. I want to be living life. Um, Y'all, I've been, what is it called? I've been debating on whether I want to do this video or not say this or not keep it from y'all or not but i feel like it's probably somebody a lot of people out there who can relate and i just want i'm trying not to be ugh. i don't want to be all ugh. cry baby girl cry baby girl no I do videos like this because I know there's people out there who can relate and there's people out there who I can help through it and let them know they're not alone. So, if you keep up with me, then you probably already peeped or could tell that something's been going on with me. Sarah's been going through it. Sarah's been going through it. You probably already could peep. So... One day, me and Marquise, we planned on going to get a checkup for both of us. Both of us go and get checked, make sure we good. We just wanted to go get a checkup. So, we did. And, boom. So, we filled all our papers at the place. Told them we just wanted to get checked up, blah, blah, blah. They checked everything. They took blood. I don't know. I don't know what they did for him, but... They made us be separate, so we did our own thing separately. We was in our own room with our own doctors getting checked up. So my doctor, she made me pee in a cup. She made me um, give blood, everything. And of course me, go to the doctor, same stuff, the same routine. I'm used to saying the same stuff, same answers every time they ask me a question. So, but this one day, I'm sitting in the chair and the lady, for some reason, she looked kind of, maybe it was just me, but as I was looking at her, I'm like, why does she look, like she looked jitterish. But I'm like, that's probably her thing, because I be seeing people like that all the time who 
she was real quiet. And I'm just sitting there waiting for her to ask me questions or whatever. And she was like, she started asking me questions, like a certain type of questions. She was like, but these was questions I was used to getting every time I go to the doctor. So to me, it's nothing unusual. She's just, you know. So she was like, could you tell me the last day of your last period? Um, and I always get that every time I go to the doctor. So I'm like trying to think like, yeah, it was last month around. As I'm thinking, I couldn't really give a date. So I'm like, let me look at my phone to see if I put it down. Cause sometimes I put it down in my notes. But I went, I started going through my phone, looking through my notes, thinking I'm about to find a date of my last one. But I looked and I didn't see nothing. So I just was like, um, it was around this time. I think I told her it was around November, November 25th. Cause I think it was, cause I started getting it early. You know, it change up. Your period change up sometimes. Sometimes you start getting it earlier than you should be. Well, mine was doing that. But I told her, even though my last one was around the 25th, and I was at the doctor, I was like, it was probably around the 25th or something, cause it's been coming early lately but usually normally it comes on the first every month i told her that it comes on the first every month not realizing how did i not realize it was the day i went because i got the date on this paper not realizing the day i was there at the place was december 28th and i just told her the last time I remember was November 25th or around the 25th. Dang, this is my first time talking about this too, y'all. So, y'all gonna be seeing me like I'm just not realizing what I was saying. Anyway, boom. So, she was like, okay, have you been cramping? And I was like, yeah, because I was. I was cramping probably two days before then. And she was like, okay, well, can you show me the areas? Like, can you show me w in what area? Boom. That seemed weird to me because that never happened to me. A doctor has never told me to show them where I was cramping at before. They just, I don't even think they asked me, have I been? I should have peeped that. I should have caught on. But uh, regular to me, I'm just at the doctor's getting a checkup. So I was like, yeah, it was like around, I was showing her, I was like, around here down here area i was saying that she was like and then that she was like well okay because we just checked your urine test and he came back and said that she was pregnant that's what she said and my face was like like it was it wasn't like or anything i was just like and she was like, do you, she was like, do you know what you plan on doing with it? And me, this is my first time hearing it. I'm like, I don't, I'm like, I don't want this. I'm like, no, I don't want this. That's what I said. I was like, I don't want this. She was like, well, okay. I could give you a number to call. Um, she was like, I'm going to give you a number to call and check the center for you. So she get on her laptop. And I'm just sitting there while she quiet. It's so awkward, bro. And I'm just sitting there. And then that's when I go on my phone. And I text Marquise. Because he in another room. And I text him like, Marquise. That's exactly what I did. I just said Marquise. He wasn't replying, though. Because um, I was about to tell him. But he wasn't replying. And then that's when she gave me a piece of paper with a number on it and an address. And I was like, all right, thank you left and I went and sat in the wait waiting room because Marquise was still getting his checkup. Um, so then he ended up coming out and sitting next to me and he was like, and he was looking at me and he was like, what? And I gave him the paper and I just let him read it and then that's when he looked at me. He was like, you pregnant? Like with a smile. And I was like, yes. That's exactly how he was talking, just like this, like, yes, because it's still in shock. And he was like, then I showed him how many, 
with it, I showed him what the paper say. He was like, you. It was like kind of like we were still in shock. So there was no emotion going on. It was kind of funny to us at first. But look. You see? And then. Like, and then after a while sitting there, after a while sitting in the waiting room, I was just quiet and this started hitting me, like hitting me. And I was trying to stop myself from crying in there, in the um, waiting room. And then that's when I got on my phone and I started texting some of my friends. I texted one of my closest friends that I know. And I was like, I was like, Blank, blank, blank. I'm not gonna say her name. I was like blank. Like blowing her phone up to hurry up and reply. I should show y'all the messages. Funny at first. It was funny to me at first. It wasn't funny to me, but I was in shock. So like this Sarah, cause I have, this is a new phone. But I got everybody contact saved. And she was like, Sarah, what's up? How are you, bro? And I was like, I need you, bro. Hello, some crazy is going on. I'm at the doctor's with my boyfriend. They talk about I'm one month. And I was like, like, no. Like, no. Because what's going through my head, the first thing I was thinking of was my mom. Like, I didn't want to disappoint her. So that's really why I was like, no. Like, I can't. No. Anyways, I'm texting her. I'm asking her, what should I do? Where should I go to get this done with, to get this over with? And she was being kind of mean. She was being kind of mean. Like about... She wasn't being... I don't know. That's just how she is. But anyway, Marquis had got mad at me. He got mad at me because he felt like... He felt like I should've never been. First of all, he, he read the messages. And she was she was kind of being rude about it. I understand you trying to be there, but the way she was wording it was like, and I just felt bad because he read it. Then he got mad at me because he felt like I shouldn't have been going to other people for help. Like it's my, he told me like it's my body, my mind my decision so I did feel bad after that because I mean I was in shock I didn't know what to do so it's, we was only mad at each other for probably like 10 minutes and then um, we both left the office and Marquise had lost his key he didn't lose him he left his keys was stuck in a car so we had to call triple eight the same day Right after we got out the office, we used to, we was stuck out the car because his keys was in there, so he had to call them. But while we was waiting for them, um, I wanted to be in the sun, so we was standing outside of the office, just standing there waiting for the people to come. And he had left me to go into a liquor store, and I was just sitting there, and I just broke down while I was sitting there because it hit me. And what I was thinking was, just, I just felt, I don't know, I felt lost and confused. I just, I felt irresponsible. That's all. I felt irresponsible. Like, how did this happen? That's how I was feeling. How did this happen? Even though I know, but who would have expected this? Who? It's, I would have never expected this. So, anyway, when he came out the store, he seen me, and then he was hugging me, blah, blah, blah. He was there. Marky was being good. He was being good at being there.
He told me I didn't, I didn't need to be quiet. I'm still lost. Anyways, he told me I didn't need to be crying because whatever I decided, he was going to be there. That's what he told me. And I'm thankful for him because he didn't make me feel. <sighs> yeah, I don't know how sad I got. I was sad. But he was there. He did make me feel better when I was real sad. And mind you, y'all, this is still fresh. This happened like two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. This is what I've been going through. So, y'all never know what people go through behind camera. Something that made it worse. Something that made me more down was... I wanted to go to my mom for help. And I wanted my mom for help. So, and I told Marquise that. I told him, I just want to talk to my mom. He was like, all right. But I didn't want to tell her in real life, so I took a picture of the paper. The pregnancy verification. And I typed her a paragraph. And I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all. Because I feel like this this is something that this is something that had me real real sad. This is what I said. I said I don't really know what to say. I found this out today. I went with Marquise, but all I know is I don't want this. I don't know how to feel. All I want to know is if I make this go away, will it will I be going against God? Will I be killed someone? Will this make me a bad person? And I was, I was just, I was just sad. And then, and then she gonna reply this. And after that, she didn't really want to talk to me. And I feel like, and I feel like. That just made me feel, that made me feel more alone. Yeah, yeah, what I did was wrong. But at the end of the day, when your daughter is coming to you sad and lost and wanting help and just wanting an opinion, wanting, wanting advice. I don't feel like you should abandon them. I don't feel like you should throw it in their face. I don't feel like that's right. I don't feel like that's right. After that, we wasn't talking. Talk. She was the only one who knew. She was the only one who knew. Her and Marquise. And I just wanted... I don't know. So, I didn't really want to be... That's where I'm thankful for Marquise because he, he would come when I was sad. He would be with me when I was sad. I would be with him when I was sad. And he would he would take me to get what I want. Because I felt alone. And I would tell him, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable at home. I don't feel like that's right. I don't feel like you should abandon your child. Even though I am grown, I am 20 years old, I still needed a mother's voice. Cause that really made me feel alone after that. After that, I would just, when I would come home, I would be in a room by myself, to myself, emotional. Nobody knew, nobody would have never known cause I'm so good. I'm the type of person that's so good at hiding stuff and holding stuff in. I'd rather do that to protect my energy. That's just how I am. I'm going to protect my energy at the end of the day. And I felt alone, so I'm ready. I was ready to get, to go get rid of this, make it stop. 
anyways, y'all, that's what happened two weeks ago. And y'all see how long he said I was. Now, I'm six weeks. I'm six weeks now because I've, I've been trying to get an appointment, but it just wasn't happening. It was, they would constantly say they booked up for appointments. But I'm six weeks and I'm still lost. I'm still confused. My mom finally talked to me. A lot of people finally talked to me about it. And I don't feel as sad as I was anymore. My main thing was... My main thing with this was... I don't want... If it was against God, then I wouldn't do it. That's all I wanted to know from her. That's all I wanted to know in general. I wouldn't do it. And another thing, I just felt like... It ain't the time. It ain't the time. Like, I still need to get my place. I still need to get my car. And this is stuff I could have been did. Could have been. Should have been took care of. But I wanted to be doing what I wanted to be doing. So that's my fault at the end of the day. So I do kind of feel like maybe this is my blessing that'll make me more responsible to make me get on my stuff that's kind of how i feel but then i don't know i'm still lost i'm still confused it's not like it can't happen and it's not like i'm not not blessed marquis come from a good family blessing i come from a good family blessing <laughs> but it's all about me. I'm just lost. I'm. I'm. Who would have expected this? Not now. Then another way I feel. Y'all know y'all always see me posting about how I want a best friend. Maybe this is. But I don't know. This is a lot. This is a lot. Another thing I want, me and Marquise, we, what, five months in? I don't know if he going he a good dude, but we still kind of new. Who know? Nobody can predict the future. Nobody can. Nobody can predict the feelings going to change. I've just been praying for answers. I just need answers. That's all I need from God. I don't want answers for nobody but God. And I wanted to know. I want to know. that. That's my answer. So that's all I want. Just prayers. Pray for me. I don't know. I'm just lost. Like, I still want, I want to be turning up in the summertime. I still want to go on trips, turn up, but uh, at the end of the day, that's being selfish, so I don't know, I don't know, but at the end of the day, I do feel like people, women who do get abortions, I don't feel like people should judge them, I don't feel like you should ever judge a woman for making a decision with her body, I don't feel like that's right. I don't feel like they should be judged. You shouldn't judge women because of that. Don't judge nobody. It ain't right to judge. At the end of the day, we all human. We all people. We all go through stuff. So I've been feeling better since then. Like, if y'all wondering if people know now, pe people know now. My mom know. I told my brother, girlfriend, and then she told my brother, so they know. And they supportive. Um, 
my big sister know, but it's kind of weird because I just texted her when I was sad. I told her, can you make me an appointment? And she's like, okay, for what? And I was like, okay, you called this number. I gave her the number in my medical card, and I was like, you called him and told him to give me an appointment for abortion pill. She was just like, all right, that's it. Like, that was all it was. It was no advice or nothing. It was just all right. I didn't, that didn't, I didn't mind that, but when I was talking to my brother girlfriend, he said she told me that she felt like I should have, she should have said something to me. And I don't want nobody telling me what to do. I don't want nobody telling me what to do with myself. Don't tell me what to do. I'm trying to figure out. I'm just trying to wait for an answer. I've been waiting, but I haven't got one still, and I'm six weeks now. I don't want no surgery. That's one thing I was scared of. I wouldn't have did it if I had to get surgery to do it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to go. I might go at the end of the day. It ain't right to, you can't judge nobody. Only God can judge. And I just want, I just want answers. Guidance, that's all I want. But anyways, so that's what's been going on with me. That's why I've been sad. That's why I haven't been posting up at all. But I'm about to be back. I'm going to be back happy again. Because I'm already starting to feel happy again. I'm just in the lost phase right now. So, I'm out of here.